Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I'm back, at least for a little bit. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Lynx bracelet. It's made with normal rainbow loom bands and alpha bands, which are the bands that come with the alpha loom. And here I have one made with the uh, translucent glow ones and some colored bands underneath. And then here I have one with the silver ones. But anyways, let's get started. So, for this one I'm going to be using different colors of alpha bands. Just like randomly um, organized, I guess. And, yeah. You can find alpha bands sold in packs of each color on the Rainbow Loom website. But the only time you can get a mixed pack for them is when you actually buy the alpha loom. So, I definitely recommend, like, if you're going to go and buy the bands to get the translucent ones, and then you can play with different, putting different colors underneath them and getting a really cool, like, frosted colored effect. Anyways, let's get going. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. For this, you can use any sort of loom that has four pegs. So you can use the monster tail, finger loom, rainbow loom, um, alpha loom, I'm assuming, yeah. Alpha loom. <laughs> really anything with four pegs. It doesn't even have to be a loom, it just has to have four pegs. So to start off, you're going to add your borders. So I'm using black for this. And you're just going to twist them on like you normally would. So just twist the first one. Put them parallel like this. And these are the four pegs I'm going to be using today. And then after that, you're going to take a black band and lay a black band over each twisted band. And then you can just push it down. So now you're going to add your first row of alpha loom bands. So the first row you can see is three alpha bands right up next to each other. So my first three colors I'm going to do red, blue, and then yellow all in a row. And this is the starting section of the bracelet. The section you repeat comes later. So you're going to take those bands and you're going to put them on your hook in the order that you want them to appear in the bracelet. So yellow is my third one over. I'm going to put that on my hook. Then blue. Let's move this for a second. Then red. And then bringing back your loom, you're going to take um, your bar band, I guess I'll call it the bar band, which is these bands, these bands that go underneath the alpha loom bands. I'm going to take that band, pull it through all three of these, and then you're going to put this band with the three off loom bands on it. On the bottom two pegs, this side over here, and this side over here. Making sure these alpha bands don't go over onto any of the pegs, just shove them down right in this little area right here. And next, you're going to place your next two fishtail side bands. So just lay them over like you did before. And then you're going to loop over. So you're going to take the second band on your peg, which is the band holding these alpha bands, and pull it over. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Should be a band that's second down, holding your alpha bands. And then you just pull that up to the center. And then after that, you're just going to pull your bottom band of the three on each peg over. So you're just going to fishtail these bands. And then you can move on to your next row. So that for this next setup row, you're just going to pull a band through these alpha bands and then you're going to fishtail on more bands like you normally would. So again, you're taking your bar band color, 
which I'm using black because my bar bands aren't going to show since I'm using opaque alpha bands. And you're just going to pick up all three of these alpha bands in the middle, making sure you aren't picking anything else up. And then you're going to pull your bar band through. And then like before, you're going to put the two ends on these bottom two pegs. It's a little more difficult to do on camera than otherwise, but... Like that. And then you're just going to put on your two normal fishtail bands. So again, that's one on each side. And then, as normal, you're going to pick up your second band, which is the band holding the alphas, and loop it over on these bottom two pegs. Scoot that down to the center. And then you can lift up the bottom of the three bands on each peg. All right, and that's it for your starting rows. After this, there's going to be a distinct pattern that you're gonna keep repeating until you get to near the end of your bracelet. So, after all this is set up, after you've fishtailed um, two bands that hold the three alpha bands, now you're going to add your row of two. As you can see here, there's a row of two in between these three bands. So for this row, then you're going to pick up your next two colors, which for me are going to be white and then red in that order. And to do that, you're going to go into your previous alpha bands. You're going to pick up your rightmost band. And if you're using different colors, make sure it's the correct color. You can switch the colors around now if they're in the wrong order for whatever reason. So I'm going to pick up my yellow. I'm going to add my rightmost new color, which is red. Put that on my hook right after, right after I add the yellow onto the hook. And I'm going to pick up the blue, which is the very center of the three alpha band colors. I'm going to add on a new band. And then you're going to pick up your last alpha band. So I've alternated between alpha band attached to the bracelet, new alpha band, alpha band attached to the bracelet, new alpha band, and then the other alpha band attached to the bracelet. And again, you're going to take your center bar color. And I'm using black because these are opaque. And you're going to pull it through all of these bands, making sure you don't grab anything. Just pull it straight through all five of these bands. And you're going to, as usual, put that band over on the front two pegs, like that. And then you can add your two fishtail bands and fishtail as you normally would. I'm just putting those two parallel left and right, lifting over the band, holding the alpha bands, and then fishtailing on all four pegs. Alright, and then for the second row of this, all you're going to do is you're going to take your bar band and you're going to pick up all five of these bands again. All five of them. And it may look a little bit messy, but it doesn't matter. Just as long as you keep your colors in the correct order, if you're using different colors. I might recommend, if you're a beginner at this sort of thing, to use all the same color, because it might be easier to keep track and not mix your colors up. And then you're just going to pull your bar band through all of these again, making sure that you're only pulling it through alpha bands. Put it on the front two pegs. Take your fishtail bands. Put them on normally the whole, you know, normal thing we do. And then fishtail everywhere. Alright, so 
that is your second row of adding on new bands. And then, after you do this, you're going to put on your next row. So, this is a row of three. I'm going to be using blue, yellow, and then white. And to figure out which bands to pick up here, since now we're adding a row of three, because we just added a row of two, we're only going to pick up the center two bands that we have added. So these first three bands, you are done with them. You're no longer touching them. So I'm just going to pull these out, just so you can see them a little bit better. These are the center two bands that we're going to be working with. And usually if you forget what row you're on, you can just look at the bottom and you could be able to tell which row has the most bands pulled through it. And that's the row you leave behind. So you're going to do the same sort of alternating technique, except that you're adding on three bands this time. So you're going to take your rightmost band, put it on your hook, pick up your rightmost connected band, pick up your middle color and put it on your hook, pick up the leftmost connected band, and then add on your final color, which is the left new band. Then you're going to pick up your bar band, pull it through everything, every alpha band on your hook. Should be five bands, two attached, three new ones. Put them on the front two pegs, and then add your fishtail bands and fishtail as you normally would. That's the, that's the one part of the pattern that keeps being repeated no matter what row you're doing. Pull a band through certain alpha bands, then add your fishtail bands and fishtail. If you're wondering why my thumb is bandaged up, I just accidentally cut myself yesterday on one of those metal like takeout containers, the ones where you have a plastic lid and you have to fold over the metal edges. I cut my finger on the sharp edge of that, and it surprisingly hurt kind of a lot. <laughs> Anyways, so now you're moving on to your second row of adding the three alpha bands. So again, like the previous row, you're just going to pull your band through all five of the alpha bands that have been attached. So just do that, making sure you're only pulling it through the alpha bands and nothing else. Add it to the front. And then add your fishtail bands, fishtail is normal, that whole deal. Alright, so there are four main rows that you repeat that I've just showed you guys. So. I did a few setup rows, those were the ones where you were just working with those three alone, just those three. So the four rows that you repeat, the first one I showed you is the one where you add two, where you alternate between picking up one of the three that was attached, then a new one, then an attached one, then a new one, then an attached one. Pull the band through, fishtail is normal. And then after that you pull a band through all your alpha bands, add your fishtail bands, fishtail is normal. And then the second part of the pattern, the third and fourth rows, are when you add on where you add on the three bands. So you put first of the three, then an attached one, then a new one, then an attached one, then a new one. And then um, add that band to the front, add your fishtail bands, fishtail is normal. And then for the fourth row, the final row of the repeating pattern, you will just pull a band through everything on your um, every alpha band in the middle and then add your fishtail bands, fishtail is normal. I think I'll write it out. <laughs> I'll write out the pattern fully um, during the break when I'm gone and then as soon as I get back I'll put it in the front of the camera. You can screenshot it, you know, memorize it, remember it. But anyways, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna repeat that pattern a few times and when I come back I'll show you how to finish it and I'll show you my written out pattern. Alright, so I'm back. I have done almost all of my bracelet. 
and this is how it looks. And I've stopped so that I have about mm, like three quarter, a three quarter inch bit left to do because the ending bit's gonna take a little bit of room to do in your bracelet. So make sure that you don't finish up too much of it and then end up accidentally making it too long. And before I forget, I better show you the steps that I wrote out. So, repeat rows. So number one is when you add the two alpha bands in the center, then you do all of this. And then step number two is you pull the band through all five alpha bands and then fishtails before, as before is the bracketed section right here. Number three, you add the three alpha bands in the center and then that N-A-N-A-N stands for new band, um, new band, attached band, new band, attached band, new band. And then fishtails before again, bracketed section up here. And then number four is to just repeat step two, which is pull band through all five alpha bands, fishtails before. So there's that. Plop this back down and now I can keep on going. <laughs> From here on out, you I've stopped at the part where I would normally be about to add two more bands in the center. So I've stopped after step four. So this is before a repeat of the steps again. And instead of doing that, you're gonna kind of do what you did at the beginning, except reversed. So you're not adding new bands. All you're doing is you're taking these three alpha bands that stick up right here, and you're just going to pull a band through all three of those. Again, you're not adding new ones at all. Forgot. I better zoom in just so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And then of course you're going to add your two fishtail bands on the sides like you normally would. And then of course you're going to do what you usually do, pull this up and then fishtail in all four pegs. And then basically you're going to repeat that again for your second finishing row. So again, you're going to pick up all three of these middle bands Pull this band through, put it on the pegs, and then you're going to put on your fishtail bands and fishtail. then you're going to do a few more things and then you can finally finish this off. So you should have just um, finished these up to what it looks like from the bottom. And now, making sure that you have two bands on each peg, you're just going to lift up the bottom of the two bands on each peg to finish off. And then you're going to pull your back band to the front band for each half. Just pull this off and then move it up here. And then pull this one off and move it up here. So now you have two on these front two pegs. And then you're just going to grab your clips. You're going to use two of them. I'm just using the extra large black ones because I like having my C-clips match my bracelet. <laughs> so you're just going to take this, make sure it grabs both bands, and just stick it on there like that. Then you can pop it off. 
and then find your cap bands on the other end, they're pretty easy to find. And then just grab your cap band, making sure you get both parts of the band. And there you go, there's your bracelet. I hope you guys, oop, that's the zoom in button. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, it's great to be back. I'll see what I can invent in the time coming, but you know, I'm kind of rusty, so we'll just see. I'll be posting it on my spam account, which will be linked below anything that I come up with. And yeah, also thank you guys so much. I did not believe, like, when I saw this, I could not believe it had happened. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. That's, that's, that's like ridiculous. And even though I'd say the majority are inactive now, it's still like insane. Like 100,000 people saw my channel and were like, hey, I think this is worth subscribing to. Like that, what? That baffles me. It's crazy. Thank you so much. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.